So this video is kind of going to be one that I can put out. It's not going to be that long. You're going to get all the information, but it's about me getting out of Florida. Okay. I'm going to put some maps up on the screen. I'm going to put some numbers out on the screen so you can see exactly what I took on my trailer. Okay. And here's the trailer. One partial, two partials, three partials, four. One pot, two pot, three pot, four. So it's a fight. Each and every single one of these things on my trailer is absolute crap. Maybe that, that portable water thing is the best, the best thing on my trailer. I'm gonna go over the numbers with you to show you what you have to do to get out of Florida, okay? Yes, Florida sucks, Florida stinks, but you have to do what you have to do and I'm not leaving out of Florida with nothing on my trailer like the 100 semi trucks I passed coming into Florida. They were all heading out empty. Doesn't make any sense. So first thing we picked up was this mini crane. It was from Dania, Florida to St. Francis, Wisconsin. It's paying $1,300. Okay, yes, I did have to tarp it. That got me 87 cents a mile. That was the first thing I put. I risked it, okay? The second thing I put, that's, you know, that's near Miami. Second thing I, I found was from TQL on the load boards, $1,900 from Miami, Florida to Molini, Illinois, okay? All right. That got me a dollar and 31 cents, you know, for, for the 1900 bucks. That little cardboard box goes along with this tarp load. This was a King of Freight load. That was the broker. It's going from Tampa, Florida to Green Bay, Wisconsin. Okay. That's a long haul, guys. 1,400 miles, $1,200. Wow. 85 cents a mile. Yeah. Yeah. I had to. I, I had to. I already had those two things going. I had to get something else. And then I didn't quit. Okay. I'm not a quitter. So I went to Jacksonville, Florida. Found this on the load boards as well. Jacksonville, Florida to Chanahan, Illinois. It's kind of a little bit south of Chicago. 65 cents a mile. That got me $700. So what you got to do here to figure out how much money we made, we know my cost per mile is like a dollar and 44 cents, but let's just say like a dollar 50 to be on the safe side. So a dollar and 50 cents uh, is my cost per mile. So we're going to add up the mileage that we drove and we're going to divide that by the gross revenue. So if you add up the, uh, what was that? 1300, 1900, 1200 and then 700 you get $5,100 divide that by 2,027 miles or whatever 2,001 miles whatever it was and you're gonna get two dollars and 51 cents so now that we know that I'm getting two dollars and 51 cents for the whole trip okay so I was grossing two dollars and 51 cents or two dollars and 55 cents and my cost operates a dollar and 50 cents. So I'm pretty much getting a dollar a mile. So what I say, like I'm running 2,000, 2,027 miles. So I, I profited $2,027 to go from Miami, Florida, four picks, four drops, absolutely horrible to Green Bay, Wisconsin. So leave your thoughts in the comments. Did I do okay coming out of Florida? Do you think I should just deadhead to Georgia and actually get a real load? One pick, one drop for 250 a mile going somewhere? Leave your thoughts in the comments, guys. I appreciate you tuning in and stay tuned. I'm gonna bring you more numbers and I'm gonna try to try to show you guys more maps and and just paint the picture of what Hot Shot's all about. Stay tuned, guys. I'll see you next time.